All right, so that's all sprayed. It's kind of funny how these dark spots aren't breaking up with the pre-spray. It makes me wonder what the heck they are because most everything gets emulsified and loosened up with the pre-spray, so that's interesting. And this is still dry, and this is all still dry. So if you're wondering, the skinny hose is a pressure hose. This is a collection of vacuum hoses I gotta lay out, but first I need to go mix up the rinse that runs through the wand that helps remove more soil. This is the water into the machine. And hold on. So the vacuum hose will connect to this. This has a fine mesh filter in it, and that grabs all the grit and grime and pennies and everything that you don't want to get into the waste tank back there. It's called an inline lint filter. This is the extractor itself. It has a 20 horsepower, basically a lawnmower engine that spins the vacuum blower that creates the suction. That's this here. It also spins the pressure pump that creates the, the hot water rinse solution. Got an onboard water softener there in that blue tank, which gives you nice purified water, enables me to cut down on the chemical usage control your heat, control the pressure, go anywhere from, I don't know, 100 PSI up to about 1200 PSI on this model. And this is the flow meter, just how much chemical you're injecting into that wand that does the rinsing. Hopefully that all makes sense. A machine like this costs, oh, tanks and somewhere around $20,000 on top of a Ford Transit, which I picked this one up, lightly used. And it was, uh, I think, 30000 And you put it in your shelves and all your tools. And before you know it, you're up to about 65000 on a truck like this. But it's real easy to spend 100 all the way up to 120 on a very powerful, bigger truck that essentially does the same thing but allows two people to work at once.